Gina Mapola, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time here, I hope you will subscribe and stick around for more of my videos. Um, my whole purpose on my channel is to help people, whether that's within fitness or faith or dating or beauty and fashion or traveling, well, whenever we can travel again, um, my goal is just to help you guys. So if you are new here, I hope you will subscribe and stick around for more of my videos. If you're a returning subscriber, hello and welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing what I eat in a day quarantine edition. So as you guys know, we've been in quarantine. I've been in quarantine for about two months now and this might be extending till July 4th for LA, which is very disheartening, but we are making the best of it. So we've been in this for about two months now and I have a pretty good routine down now of what I'm eating because I've been eating at home every single day, working out at home every single day. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what has been working for me and what you guys can try yourself. So I'm actually the lowest I've weighed in a very long time. My body fat percentage is actually the lowest it's been in a very long time. So something's working. And I wanna show you guys what I eat in a day. Part of this video will be in partnership with Thrive Market, and I'm really excited for you guys to learn about this company. Thrive Market is an online marketplace on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from them and also how I'm incorporating some of these items into my daily routine. So it's 10.20, I've already worked out today, and I've also already had my cup of coffee this morning at like seven. So since I just worked out, I'm gonna show you guys the first thing that I'm gonna take today. This is what I got from Thrive Market. It is the Ultima Replenishers. This, this is a variety pack of electrolyte drink mixes. So this is what it looks like. So this is something I got from Thrive Market right here. And since I just worked out, you want to replenish your electrolytes, obviously. So I'm gonna put this in my water drink this and then show you guys what I eat for breakfast. Now normally I eat my breakfast like right when I wake up but this morning I wasn't hungry and something that I've learned in life and in quarantine is you eat when you're hungry and you don't eat when you're not hungry. And so just kind of really listening to your body of like not necessarily thinking okay I woke up I need to eat. It's like okay if I'm not hungry then you wait till you're hungry. So now it's 10 and I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. So first gonna drink one of these and then I'll show you guys breakfast. This is the electrolyte pack I'm gonna be using today. It is raspberry. This is just good to rehydrate after working out. That tastes incredible. Wow. That is so good, you guys. I'm gonna make some breakfast now and show you guys my new gadget that I just got because I'm obsessed with it. And if you're from Texas, you're gonna love this too. Okay, so if you've been a long time viewer, first of all, you know I'm from Texas. Second of all, you know I love banana pancakes. But today we switching it up and we're doing banana waffles. So the reason why I'm super stoked about this is because it is in the shape of Texas. I know I'm extra. Every single Texan ever is the most extra person ever. However, I love waffles. Okay, so what you're gonna do is get two eggs, doesn't matter what the eggs are, one banana, one fourth cup of rolled oats, mine are from Trader Joe's, and then I can do either one to two tablespoons of flax seeds, and then some ground cinnamon. So you're just gonna put that in the blender. It is seriously so fast, it takes me maybe 10 minutes to make this. Um, I spray my pan or my waffle machine with coconut oil spray, and then that's really it. Then you let the rest happen and just do its thing. Okay, let's see, <gasps> looking good. That is a beauty right there. Like that, we have heaven in the palm of my hands. It's so good. Okay, so now what do I do is I just drizzle this agave. This is from Trader Joe's. Also, something else you can do to these waffles or pancakes is just add a little bit of almond butter. Again, don't go overboard because two tablespoons is 190 calories, but if you wanna get some healthy fat, add this to your waffle or pancake, and it is so good, especially when you add the creamy kind. So check it out. Hope you guys try this out. It's so good. Once you go to this recipe, you can never go back to anything else, I promise you. And here we have it, the most perfect waffle ever. 
All right, you guys, we're gonna talk about Thrive Market really quickly. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got from their website and also share with you why this company is so great and why you guys should check it out. Again, it's an online marketplace. What their mission is to make healthy living easy and affordable. You guys can get a bunch of variety of different things here from non-GMO products to personal beauty care to vitamins, snacks, supplements, dietary needs, eco-friendly cleaning supplies. You can also get non-toxic beauty products and honestly, so much more. There's a lot of different stuff on there. Okay, and you're trying to save that coin. The reason why Thrive Market is so great is that you guys can shop thousands of best-selling organic foods and natural products that are 25 to 50% below traditional retail prices. Now that is a deal and I want you guys to save your money. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got really quickly. First thing that I got are these lemon bars. These are the Epic Performance Bars. They are non-GMO, dates, almonds, cage-free egg whites, sea salt, and lemon oil, and 12 grams of protein. Now, when I'm going throughout my day, I always want something to kind of sustain me from, you know, lunch to dinner, so I usually will snack on like an apple and a protein bar, so cannot wait to try these out. I showed you guys earlier, these are the Electrolytes Drink Mix. I also got Annie's Crispy Snack Bars, which are cacao flavored, so super stoked to try these as well, because I have to curb that sweet tooth at night and that will help me do that. Another thing that I absolutely love that you will 100% see me eat tonight are these. These are from Smart Sweets and these are their peach rings which have three grams of sugar. I love these. I discovered this last year, love them, and Thrive Market sells these and I love eating these before bed and after dinner. Again, like I said, Thrive Market doesn't just sell food, they sell personal care items, home items, kitchen staples, I mean, all sorts of things. So I got some other things that are not food related. So for skincare, I got this rose water and glycerin spray, harsh weather defense. I've just always heard such good things about rose water, so they do sell this. Another thing I got are the Mighty Patches. These are pimple patches. So if you ever have a pimple, you just put it on your cheek or wherever you have it, go to sleep, wake up, and your pimple should be either gone or severely diminished. So. So to try these. Another random thing I got is gum. And this is spearmint gum, and this is vegan friendly, aspartame free, which is always great. You don't want aspartame in your products. These are essential oils for my diffuser. So I got peppermint and eucalyptus, my favorite scents ever. And that is everything that came in my Thrive Market box. So whether you're paleo or gluten-free or raw or vegan or you are just feeding a family, you can shop 80 plus qualities, including non-GMO, Fair Trade Certified, BPA Free, and more. Seriously, you name it, they have it. The last point and the best point is the company's Thrive Gives initiative makes it accessible for low-income families, teachers, and veterans to access natural, organic, non-GMO foods and products for the first time. So they are all about giving back and helping people out and I absolutely love them and I love working with them. So if you wanna check out Thrive Market, check the link down below that I have provided and when you sign up for Thrive Market, you guys can get up to $20 in shopping credit when you join today. So check that out, excited to see what you guys get and now let's get right into the rest of what I eat in a day. It is now 12.51. I'm definitely getting a little hungry again since I ate at like 10, so I'm just gonna eat this really quickly. About to do a live stream and then I will, around, when my live stream ends, it's around two o'clock, so then I'll start making some lunch. But for now, this will be my snack. Again, this is from Thrive Market, the Epic Performance Lemon Bar. So, excited to try this because I've never tried it before. Mmm. This is good. I would love anything lemon. Okay, so I just finished my live stream and it is now 2.30. I'm running a little low on energy um, because I didn't sleep very well last night. I woke up very early this morning, so I might make another cup of coffee. For today's lunch, I'm going to do a sweet potato and I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. It is super, super easy, very satiating, delicious, healthy, will keep you full, and I love it. It's easily one of my most favorite go-to recipes, so let's do it. Okay, this is very easy to make. I'm gonna do this in voiceover because my neighbors are doing construction, so I'm going to do a voiceover. Before I did the voiceover, I've been drinking these a lot lately. Um, these are the Zevia Zero Calorie Sodas. No sugar, no artificial sweetener, and caffeine free. I'm, oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. I think I've had one of these every single day for the past week. I love them. Definitely check these out. If you love like sodas and carbonated drinks, but you're trying to like stop yourself from drinking that, 
alternatives are the best thing you can do. So this is something I definitely recommend you guys check out. If you try this, please let me know. You will be obsessed. I think you're gonna be obsessed. Hopefully you are. All right, let's get into making today's lunch. Okay, so for today's lunch, I'm gonna be doing a sweet potato and it is so freaking good and easy to make. So what you're gonna do, rub olive oil all over it and then poke some holes into it. Um, get a microwavable safe dish and then put this into the microwave for about five to six minutes. Obviously, it will depend on the size of your potato. And then just keep checking on it to see when the inside is soft. So I'm gonna get spinach, avocado, onion, tomatoes, cucumbers, kiwi, uh, quinoa, not kiwi, quinoa from the day before, salsa, and nutritional yeast, all from Trader Joe's. So I just go ahead and cut up my onion. This is a sweet onion, by the way, as well. And then just go ahead and throw that in a pan, spray some olive oil, cook that up. I'm now cutting up all my cherry tomatoes, throwing that in the bowl. Again, if you don't like a certain thing that I'm putting, then you don't have to put it. Add what you like, remove what you don't, totally fine. Now I'm gonna do half an avocado in here as well. The avocado is so good in there. Um, this is spinach, so I just kinda take off the stem and then I will rip them up later just to make them into smaller pieces. But you definitely want those nice veggies in there. Then I'm taking my cucumber, cutting that up as well. And now I took my sweet potato out of the microwave and I cut it in half and the inside was nice and soft. So that is why I went ahead and just cut it back open and I'm letting it cool down because it will be very hot. I reheated up my quinoa and now my onions are ready. And now I'm gonna peel my sweet potato once it has been cooled down. I'm only gonna use one half and cut that up into little bits and pieces. Put some nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is kind of like a healthier cheese. It's like a vegan cheese, I guess you could say. Some salsa, mix it around, and that is it. It's so good, you guys. Okay, so here is my lunch. And it's satiating, fulfilling, healthy. I mean, I love this. It doesn't take that long to make. I mean, obviously, I, like, I had pre-made quinoa already for the night before. I did cook onions, so it did take a little bit longer but I love this. I hope you guys will try this out. It's really not hard to make. It's a little bit of prep time, but it's worth it when you eat it. So give this a go. I'm obsessed with these. And now we eat. Y'all, please try this. Now, wish me luck because I'm running to the grocery store because some things I want to eat for dinner I don't have. So gonna go to the grocery store. Wish me luck. Hello friends, I went to the grocery store. I didn't vlog because I was actually on the phone with my sister and also like try not to touch a lot of things when I'm at the store, you know what I mean? So left my vlog camera in my bag the entire time. So I didn't get very much, but I will show you what I did get like fruit wise and um, frozen vegetables wise. So this is what I got from today. I washed them because I'm sick of having fruit flies in my house. So I washed these. I'm gonna eat this tonight for dinner. So this is organic spaghetti squash. Um, I've been loving eating this during quarantine. It's a new recipe I tried during quarantine. So wash these, let those dry a little bit. And here are two other things I've been eating a lot as well, rice, rice cauliflower stir fry and cauliflower gnocchi. So love those as well. So here's today's snack, honey crisp apple, as well as I'm having another one of these. If these are bad for me, let me know. But as of right now, I love these. I'm addicted. I think I'm addicted. <laughs> okay, you guys, I just finished my Zoom call with you guys. It's so much fun. I love, love doing those. But by the time eight o'clock rolled around, my stomach was grumbling and it is now 8.45. So for tonight's dinner, I'm gonna be making spaghetti squash. It's super easy. I love it and I'm gonna show you guys how you make it um, again I will voice over how to do it and show you guys the results it's super easy and so delicious so I'm gonna show you guys how to make spaghetti squash okay I hope you guys love this recipe as much as I do so what you're gonna do is cut it down the middle and then you're gonna go ahead and empty out all the seeds from the middle into a bowl poke a couple holes in it like three to four holes and then what you're gonna do is put it on a pan and then start adding some olive oil. Go ahead also and already preheat your oven to 400 degrees and then rub the olive oil all over it. Put some salt and pepper, some seasoning and everything. 
get it on you know all over the inside put it in the oven for about 30 minutes and check on it in between just until you can start scraping out the noodles um, effectively and easily in there I'm now getting zucchini and cutting that up putting that in a pan spraying that with olive oil cooking that and then now after the 30 minutes has been up or just until it looks nice and ready and soft um, now what you're gonna do is start scraping out the noodles so you guys can see here I'm just getting the middle of it and scraping that out um, it might be a little hot so just be careful but I just scrape and scrape until I can get all the nice little noodles out super easy to do it should come just right off now I'm taking my onions from earlier in the morning adding some pasta sauce and just mixing that all up and it is so good you guys okay guys here is dinner you guys look at this this is a massive plate I will let you know if I can actually finish this but this has onions from this afternoon squash um it, this is spaghetti squash and i just added pasta sauce i am so hungry i cannot wait to eat this hope you guys try this out it's super quick delicious fulfilling satiating healthy everything check it out oh and again i'm drinking another one of these it's a problem it's a problem oh my gosh mm. so good All right, you guys, it is now 11.18. I, I just got off FaceTiming someone for a very long time, so time has flown. Um, ate all my food, it was delicious, and I seriously cannot go to bed without having a snack. Like, I have to curb my sweet tooth. So this is my Smart Sweets. Again, I got this from Thrive Market, which I hope you guys will check out down below. And also a cool point about Thrive Market is there is a $60 annual membership fee, but but with every paid membership, they will give a free membership to a veteran, a teacher, a low income family. And I think that is amazing that they would give back like that. So definitely check that out again down below. Definitely check out Thrive Market down below. So I'm gonna eat this before bed. If you guys have never had these before, check them out. You can get them on Thrive Market. I absolutely love these. I'm obsessed. These are so good, I cannot. Mm. Okay, you guys, that is the conclusion of what I eat in a day. Now, of course, every day varies. Some days I binge, don't think I eat so perfect every single time. Today was a day where I was very busy, on the go, but I think I did really well food-wise. And just a quick tip for you guys, if you, if you want to avoid eating bad or unhealthy or whatever you want to call it, um, just try to avoid even buying the food. That's kind of what I do and always try to find substitutes for things you love So like for me having the smart sweets great substitute for pasta spaghetti squash finding substitutes is a really great way So hopefully you guys will check out Thrive Market down below. It's seriously an incredible website I can't wait to keep using it. Thank you guys for watching today's video Hopefully this helped you guys out and if it did please let me know let me know what more videos you guys want to see If you want more of these you if you want what I eat in a week if you want more workouts recipes all that check out my blog channel and my Instagram, both Janine Amapola. My vlog channel is Janine TV. My Instagram is Janine Amapola. Check that out down below. Thank you guys for watching. Love you so much. I'll see you next week. And peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, guys.